Today we'll be covering the six of the most anticipated movies of 2021. Let's get into the video. The French Dispatch When it comes to Oscar contenders, The French Dispatch was at the top of critics shortlist. Unfortunately, like everything else, it got the big push to 2021. The upcoming feature from Wes Anderson is described as a love letter to journalists set at an outpost of American newspaper in the 20th century Paris and centers on three storylines. In typical Anderson fashion, the cast includes all-star ensemble lineup with Benicio Del Toro, Adrian Brody, Tilda Swinton, Leah Seydoux, Francis McDormand, Timothy Clement, Lina Kudry, Jeffrey Wright, Matteo Amalric, Steve Park, Bill Murray, Owen Wilson, and many other directors, many other regular favorites. It's time. No, I don't. For decent people. It's supposed to be charming. He assembled a team of the best expatriate journalists of his time. The kids did this. Obliterated a thousand years of Republican authority in less than a fortnight. On purpose. We take as the subject of tonight's lecture. Mr. Moses Rosenthal, certainly the loudest autistic voice of his- Morbius. Because the Joker wasn't enough, Jared Leto is joining the Marvel Universe too. Leto will play Michael Morbius, the biochemist who makes a grave error made experiment, accidentally injecting himself with blood and giving himself a form of vampirism. If the films go in the direction of the comics, expect to see Leto face off with Tom Holland, Spider-Man, soon enough. Disease and I'm running out of time. Video. This can be my last chance. No time to die. The wait for this one has been, it's been ridiculous. The last Daniel Craig Bond film has had a number of stalls in this process, including some physical injuries, but April is when the 25th Bond installment should come out. This one, which features Lashana Lynch as 007, is a substantial dose of Madeline Swan and a Billie Eilish voice theme song, promises an explosive end to Craig's incredible tenure as Bond. The world is arming faster than we... James Bond. So you're not dead? Hello, Q. I've missed you. You're the only one I trust for this. The world's moved on, Commander Bond. You were double O. Two years. A Quiet Place Part 2. Emily Blunt will reprise her role as a matriarch of her very quiet family hiding from creatures that hunt by sound in the sequel to the surprise 2018 hit. The second installment will show the family venturing out of their safe zone, quickly realizing these creatures aren't the only threats that exist. Where, 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 where? Mom? Mom? Oh my god! Last Night in Soho. Written and directed by Edgar Wright, Last Night in Soho stars Anya Taylor-Joy as a woman who manages to slip back in time to the 1960s, but nothing is as it seems when her fun adventure takes a major horror film turn. Bonus, the film features the late Diana Rigg. Black Widow. Though the Avengers tragically lost Black Widow in Avengers Endgame, her first standalone film takes us back in time. Following Natasha Romanoff, who returns home after the events of Captain America Civil War, only to deal with the familial fallout she left behind. Florence Pugh and David Harbour make their debuts in the Marvel Universe as well. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.